Let me be low key, get about your way. Ay, ay, ah. Uh. Time is ticking, I need to go and hit the bank Meditate, know a nigga need this time to think I don't trust you niggas, I know you niggas franks I just wanna make art, know a nigga paint And I got the day job shift out the way Some bullshit, probably only making 40k Take a shit, only time I get privacy Hit me up, poke a nigga just to bother me I been falling way back This dick's too real, need a win a haystack My time Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to Spinner Podcast This is gonna be episode number, I believe, 36 I got one take Carter here But before we get into that, I got a few things to say Check out my last podcast with Johnny Storm. I just released that the day of this recording. That should be like four days old. It was a great podcast. We talked about Hempstead, uh, GameStop. We talked about uh, his lyrical rapping, his history in rapping. It was good That's stuff. My God, too, his, man. Shout out to Uncle John, man. Uncle John, all of his names, Skywalker, <laughs> Uncle John, Johnny Word. Storm, all that good stuff. Behind the camera, we got Alex PTSY. Go ahead and check him out on Instagram. Word, that should be down below. Check out his podcast, number 19. If you want good... Like good Hempstead stories. This is the guy, my man's, my old coworker from Chuggy e. Cheese. We make great Chuggy e. Cheese Chuck Hempstead. E. I want some Chuggy e. Cheese pizza. Yeah, Chuggy e. Cheese, Chuggy e. <laughs> Cheese fire. stories. Fire. Uh, check out my playlist videos. I'm doing them. I'm getting back on doing them weekly. I uh, just had the one with the 50 artists, and yo, thank you guys so much. That was my first video with like 500 views. It's like at 550 something now. I really appreciate for that. Sure, for you sure. know, I really love. Thanks for all the support, and thanks for all the positive vibes that come out of that. There really was no hate coming out of that list, and I, I really appreciate it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram, S K B E N I T G. Hit me up on Twitter, Spinner, Spinner Media Y T, on all, all, all concerns about podcasts. Check out my audio podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. Fuck American Airlines. Uh, oh, you don't even know that was coming. Fuck America. Fuck American Airlines, my man. <laughs> and uh, check out Cobra Collective, yeah. our, our group Instagram. We do edits. We do um, fucking music features. We do photos, all good stuff. And check out Spinner Tracks, my second channel. Now, introducing my guest. We got One Take Carter, who's right. coming off of his One Take Carter album. Right. And he was just on this show on Netflix. Or current, That's currently airing yeah, right, now. right now. Currently man. airing. Rhythm and Flow on Netflix. And what was the last single here? The Tarish. Oh, Tar- Tar- Alicia. That Tar- single right there that's Tar- on Tar- SoundCloud. Hold on. If y'all don't subscribe to Benny... AKA mm-hmm. Spencer, AKA Spinner Media, man. Yeah. I keep fucking your name up, man. No, good one, man. If y'all don't, if y'all don't want to subscribe to my yeah. man's channel, I'm gonna lick your sister face. There we go. <laughs> and you're gonna do it with like the tongue, like it's gonna go all the way down yes. your face, all right? Not just the, not just lick her face, but off the fresh wake up of an eight hour sleep. No yeah, we don't look at yeah, yeah, like the nasty no, no tongue. toothpaste. That no real good toothpaste. shit. Dragon bro. tongue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this man was in my 50 favorite Long Island artist list that I released last oh, week that I was just talking you, about. Bro, shit, and how you been, my guy? It's been, been a big chilling, time for you, bro. dude. Big time for you, man. It's cool, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been balancing everything, for mm-hmm. real, for real. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. a lot of shit going on, but it's yeah. also, like, you got to understand, bro, like, the small things matter more than anything. For sure, so. for sure yeah. You know for sure. So. so tell me about your company. You've been here. I thought he, you only were rapping a few years because I, when I put the, your music video in, wow. I thought it said six months. It was six years. So you really, like, you're really deep into this game nah, right big here. facts. I, um... So t- tell me through your kind of well, talk yeah. me through your early life. You're from Uniondale. Just so right I'm here. from I rep Uniondale. I grew mm-hmm. up in Cambria Heights, Queens, before I moved out here. I moved okay. out here when I was ten years old. Uh huh. Um, grew up with both my parents in the crib, mm-hmm. and um, two older brothers in the house. But I actually have four brothers. Okay. Um, and yeah, just being the baby in the crib, man, learning mm-hmm. from their mistakes, learning what not to do, mm-hmm. and um, we always rapped. My pop used to make us read a lot. Okay. So. Words were a thing for me, mm-hmm. and we always played around freestyling in the room ever since I was like five. Mm-hmm. And um, got a little bit older, was playing sports for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, what sports specifically? Football, bro. Football? football, more than anything. Football, yeah. tennis, I even played that. Fucking shit. ran track, bro. I was hurtling and shit. Like okay. That. But, um, bro, 12th grade, yeah. 2011, bro. Mm-hmm. And this 2011, my aunt took me to Sneaker Pimps uh-huh. and Kendrick Lamont with Kendrick Lamont. Who the fuck is Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar Kendrick was Lamar. headlining, bro. Okay. And um, that night changed my fucking life, bro. Like, really? I was a huge fan. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this is after Good Kid, Mad City, or nah, is this before that? this is 2011. That? This is ADHD, Kendrick. This is Section 80. Section 80, okay. This is yeah. when ASAP Rocky just dropped fucking, um, just dropped Peso, and Purple Swag was super hot. 
This is a whole nother. Yeah, this wow. is like this is a fun time. This bro, is a man. fun time, bro. Mm-hmm. And I knew I could rap, but I wasn't taking it seriously. Mm-hmm. Long story short, she had backstage passes. I'm okay. the first person backstage. Wow. I'm like, yo, Kendrick, where's um Schoolboy Q at? Yeah. He's like, he's in Compton working on this project. <laughs> that's how he talks. <laughs> Took, that's exactly how he talks. <laughs> I took a fucking picture with him. I'm yeah. going down the steps. And mind you, Rocky was there that night. Yeah. So I'm going down the steps, but I'm going down, going down the steps with all the ASAP dudes. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm like, yo, I'll get a picture with y'all when we go downstairs. Mind you, Rocky's not there. Yeah. They're like, yeah, 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 cool. This is when ASAP was, was like main there? attractions. Mm-hmm. Bro, I don't even know who anybody was at the time. I just really? knew they were ASAP. They were ASAP. Okay. <laughs> they were. So, so they weren't like standing out specific artists at this time? Nah, oh, really? like this, was, a, this was like, this was like... Mm-hmm. Before you really knew who everybody was, like okay. you just knew. I seen them dudes in the video. Those are the okay. dudes that were in the back. Of, exactly. Okay, yeah, okay. I get outside, I see Rocky. I got through the crowds, a bunch of people around. Wow. I'm like, this is Rocky. He had the fucking the camo jacket on. He had uh-huh. the Tim's on. Right. He had the fucking hat on. He was just looking like Rocky, bro. Yeah. Was he was like, y'all get a picture with you. He's like, come through. Take the first picture. Uh huh. It was blurry. My aunt okay. was taking it. Take the second picture. Rocky's sticking his middle finger out. Uh huh. St- I stick my middle finger out. Like fuck it. Yeah. Took the picture. He starts walking away. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my niggas rock gold teeth. Uh-huh. Like, you already know my nigga. You look yeah. back on you. I say, yo, I'm rapping. Okay, that was it, that was it. dude. You know what's crazy? Like Rocky's uh, with along with X is my biggest inspiration. Okay. But Rocky Kendrick and like Tyler and like Tom mm-hmm. was like huge for me. Bro. Yeah. No, I love Rocky. We I saw Rocky at Rolling Loud. I mean, Rocky he was just guy, on another level, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought this guy wasn't going to be like, maybe he's getting a little bit older, maybe he's getting a little bit more tired. Credit, no, no. He got home from Sweden and he was fucking mm-hmm. going crazy. Up. Oh, he turned you up. You see him after Sweden and that's fire. Yeah, because, and then he had all these bras on his fucking hands. He had 20 <laughs> bitches bras and they were putting them on the Jumbotron. They yeah. were taking them off and throwing them, bro. And he was like, he, he put them all on and he looked at them all and he's like, yo, Y'all know I have no type. Looking at all these, I got no type. And then Sway Lee came out because of oh, that. Man. But oh, that's fine. So I think he planned it out. But he was like, yo, I got no type. You had <laughs> bitches with D, D cups that were with cheetah print. And then you had like skinny bitches like that's with, with yeah. blue. Yo, it was <laughs> the, yo, yeah, I'm, dude, with A cups. Nah, this man was, this man was on. I loved it. I, anyway, so he's a big inspiration. So go on with bro. your, um. Bro, that was when it. And, um, I was already in film school half the day. Okay. Um, sh- like just learning how to put together movies. Mm-hmm. And if you watch any of my music videos, more than mm-hmm. likely they're cinematic. They uh-huh. don't like cinematic because I do my own visuals. Uh-huh. But um, I went to school to make movies. So mm-hmm. a few months later, me and my boy Rito, we put out our first music video. Mm-hmm. I put it together with my homie from film school, Devin Muckley. Yeah. And that was it, bro. It was the mm-hmm. start of One Take Carter, like, for real. So what? what is, what does, is One Take Carter have to do with film, like, the name no, itself? So the name, that's a great question. The mm-hmm. name has to do with um, just life, period. Like, if okay. you get one take in life. Oh, so I see. Like, people, okay. like, always be like, yo, you, like, you, you do your verses in one take, or, like, mm-hmm. like, nah, my shit is about life, bro. You get one take in life. Like, this shit is. Okay. And then the Carter part. Carter's my last name. Okay, cool. But everybody called me Carter and shit. But okay. Awesome. Well, so. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. What, for for your music videos, what which music video was your favorite? Mm, and looking back on like which ones do you like? Hmm, my favorite. I'm trying to think. That's a good question. Mm. I feel like um Shots Fired now, even though it's one of the, it's the newest one I put out, mm-hmm. definitely was like one of my favorite putting together. Mm-hmm. Uh other than that, Swag Champ, mm-hmm. fucking um, the light was strong. Swag Champ is cool, man. Swag you had the, the shit, bro. That's one of my favorite. I was definitely that's my your favorite. favorite, bro. I yeah. was up twenty thousand. I was nineteen favorite. years old, up twenty thousand. You didn't tell me shit, bro. That was <laughs> yo. Just take me through that one, bro. You had you were on the on the piano and shit yeah, on that bro. one, man. And I didn't. I I was when I was listening to that song. I'm like, yeah, it, it kind of does sound like a song that was. Good, you know, it was popping at like that time yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So you were, so you have, you had a big evolution on your sound. Yeah, I think we can all. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of try to yeah. do different shit. What were you starting on? Like wh- when you were first rapping, mm-hmm. when were you? What, what were you? What like, were you what on? Was my style, like on yeah. What was your like style? Yeah. Really old school, like hip hop. Like I grew up on. Um, mm-hmm. I listened to a lot of Big L, mm-hmm. a lot of Method Man, a lot of like just old school hip hop shit. Gotcha. My pops would play like a lot of East Coast old school hip hop and a lot of West Coast old school hip hop. Uh-huh. So that's what I was on first, like just that boom bap type shit. Okay, you and still then, still listen to that? Um, yeah, super facts. But, okay. Um, from, yeah, definitely. Like, okay. Yeah, and when you guys are together, what do you what 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 are y'all bumping right now? 
We be playing we everything. Be, yeah, we play <laughs> everything. Yeah, we play everything, bro. Uh-huh. Um, right now, go get who is one take Carter. <laughs> yeah, who is one that's, take Carter? That's major. Yeah. Secondly, um, I don't know. It's a lot of towns right now. Right now, my song, I got a couple. Like, I got Big Stepper. By fucking Rowdy Rich. That's my okay, song Rowdy right Rich. now. That's the shit he's playing like uh, that, that Fabio shit. That said, Big Fabio, Fabio, Fabio Four. Fabio He got the streets right now. Bro, he does. Yo, he make me bro. like that. Nah, like, like I, I was telling him the other day, yo, bro, that song make me want to turn crip. Like, I don't, <laughs> yo, man, yo, that ass, I don't, yo, I don't do no colors, but yo, that song make me want to be crip. Like, I'm yo, crip we need. Like, yo, this has been a big year for um, Chris. you know, Chris. drill beat. I know, dude. We got, we got fucking pop smoke. New York drill shit. Well, is he woo? A little different. Right? Not, or is he, it's, listen, we're not going to get to the political of it Because again, like I said, it's they, he crit, he crit, you know what saying? And then crit. we got Max the Demon uh, You seen that white yeah, boy that be writing? Nah, I ain't hear about him This white boy that uh-huh. is, is, he's a crit And he's serious Max the Demon, he spit like he's he's nice. drill, drill he, drill Bro, he has uh, a voice is deeper than his almost Where he from? Brooklyn Brooklyn, Max the Demon Max the Demon, bro He's short, he looks Spanish No, he's white, he is white He looks whiter than me Max the Demon I'm not kidding Max the Demon. Max the Demon. Okay, it just Max popped the up. Demon. But um, this man. We play. We play mad. Yeah, we play mad shit, shit bro. Mad, like bro. it's not like see. This like, is exciting time to be. The crazy thing is, it depends on the vibe. Like I know, like when we smoking, like when we smoking, like, or we Wiz, talking about cushion orange juice. Yeah, shit. cushion okay. orange juice, or like, and we really feeling the vibe, or we talking about business and we chilling. Mm. It's really the vibe. Is like sometimes mm. we put on smooth jazz, like really we're just yeah. chilling, like yeah, okay. like a little yeah. weird. You call us a little weird, <laughs> but but. That makes sense though because it, when you look at your album, there are jazz influences on there, you know, for sure. Yeah. Um, yo, right now, by the way, I gotta shout out one person. Well, one person put me on to one other person. I gotta shout out. Huey get yo, shout out my photographer, Huey gets lost. Baby Keem, have you ever heard of this man? Oh my god. In terms of turn up music, in terms of turn up mosh music, this guy, he is something else. I Baby Keem, I don't know where this man is from. This man is fire as hell. Oh my god! I was like, yo, something because I hear so many artists. It's like sometimes it gets me, it's a little hard to get me like excited. Oh, Max the Demon, lit. yo, yeah, Max bro. the Demon, bro, <laughs> Max the Demon, you should go crazy. bro. He said, I gotta bro, see what the bars are hitting for. The bars are insane. He had one where he's like, no, he had one. He's like, you know who did it when the face white. That was one of his uh, bars there. <laughs> bro, he spit on some goon, dr- <laughs> some real shit, goon bro. shit. Real shit. Say that. Yeah. Check him out. He's out so of his baby mind. Keem got some, got some heat right this now. is the baby Keem. Is um, baby Keem is the is the one? Nah, is the me. one for what sure. We, what, like what we listen to, bro. Like we listen to everything. It's not really like mm-hmm. not gonna sit here and say like it's a shut out. Like oh, we don't listen to this. We right. don't listen to that. Uh-huh. It's like every it's a mixture of everything. Yeah, every, every artist. artist. I feel like I fuck with yeah, like, facts. I wrote this. Like, yeah. Like early Q, mm-hmm. schoolboy Q, early Dom, early um Tyler, early Kendrick. Yeah. ASAP shit. Like mm-hmm. I fuck with mm-hmm. heavy. You're one of the only people out here that truly has, like, truly has, like, your own sound. Nah, like, you sure truly don't know. sound like anybody. At least, definitely, as a project. Like, that Who Is Carter project, and you guys should definitely go get that shit, because... Who Is One Take Carter, man? Who Is One Take Carter has a lot of moments. So, let's talk about that. Let's, let's get right into this shit. Well, Dive in let's head let's fucking it, first, bro. bro. Right into the pussy, okay? Well, All right, splash. Right All right? Into the pussy. Right? Right? No, no condom. No, we're going right in there, <laughs> right in there. Said, so we got. I, I was saying before, this is a this is a conversation we, we were talking about a little before. So you had the one the one song, and I, I here's a backstory. He knows this. So I was driving to work, not to work, to my internship, and I don't like my internship. And he has a whole song on there about not liking your job and doing shit you don't like. And I was driving there, and I was like, bro, this is literally like what I'm about to fucking walk into. And this is Monday too, so I have to go on today as well. How long? You gonna stay up a job that you don't like? Yeah. Did you say that? That's my man Tenny White. Okay, that's he, him. He also produced it. Right. Okay, beautiful. Sick. Yeah, okay. bro, you gotta get out of that internship, bro. If you don't like it, you gotta get out of it. That's part of his. his I program. have to my curriculum. I have to stay until December. Oh, okay. So I got like a month. You got a month, bro. I, you know, I'll keep my head down and you know, keep on that shit. Go in there drunk for the rest of the days. It'll go by fast. Bro, I'd love to. I really, I, you know what? They, 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 don't even pay any, they don't even pay any attention to me. So they don't even give a shit. Like... Mm-hmm. So pretty much, like I could, I could probably do that. So I could probably come. Um, in. No, I hate it's internships, internship shit, bro. Yeah, and I, it's all the way in Ron Conkama. Fuck internships. Yep, they don't pay you. They First get off, fuck free your labor. internship in the click you claim. Uh huh. Ooh, <laughs> bring that out. You claim to be hired, <laughs> but you're not your name. Uh huh. He said, "No, no." But word, so, so cloud hopping, bro. 
What do you want to know about the collab? I want to know about what, what went into that because you were when I, you were playing the clip from uh, Rhythm and Flow mm-hmm. before you were performing in New York, yeah. you were kind of alluding to the same idea here. Right, bro. So what? What? Why is that a big topic for you? Is that something that's always on your mind? Um, I feel like so many people, bro, like forget the fact that this shit is temporary. This shit is yeah. like. Regardless of what you got going on, mm-hmm. whether you fucking bitches and getting money, Facts. whether you selling drugs, whether you going to college, whether you're um, raising your family, you in jail, you home, no matter what you're doing, whether you, whether you fixing your credit, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, you're dying. Everybody's yeah, dying. Facts. Like, so it's like something that people like kind of forget almost in a way where they mm-hmm. just kind of feel like, ah, right, we just going to do what I think we have to do for now or right. what the only option is for now. Instead of actually taking life by the balls, yeah, doing what you want to do, uh-huh. because I'm somebody that's doing what they want to do, and I've been doing this for seven plus years, right? Um, and it's been getting me somewhere. Yes, for sure. So it didn't mm-hmm. happen overnight. Like mm-hmm. people see me on Netflix and think like, oh, like you, you just, tried out one time. Yeah, you tried out one it. time. Oh, mm-hmm. not, like it's like no, bro, I've been doing this for a while, and I'm yeah. seeing the benefits of it, and I'm also seeing mm-hmm. other people who have the same t- the amount of talent as me. Yeah working jobs that they don't even need to be working on uh-huh. doing shit that they don't even want to do right and I'll see them in passing and they'll just be like yo one take man keep doing your thing man but like, then you can see us. yeah you can <laughs> see like, like deep in their eyes <laughs> they're not having their own right. yeah for sure so you see like deep in their eyes they're like they're, they they're not where they want to be not, they settle like, my whole right. mission bro is to make sure everybody's doing what they want to do bro this mm-hmm. is Facts. your life this is your life this is your life mm-hmm. cameraman my nigga, this is your life. Facts. No, so I always the do. reason why that's why I go so hard with that shit because it's like, yo, mm-hmm. bro, like I could do, I could easily just do what the fuck I'm doing right now, just right. say fuck everybody, and just. Uh-huh. But like, I kind of, I'm in the same time I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm showing yeah. people the shit is possible. Right, possible. right, for sure. Right. So might as well, while you here, bro, uh-huh. take this shit seriously, get to it. Right. Like so, that's my whole, uh-huh. my whole aura behind everything I do is just more so like, bro. Do what you want to do, bro. Yeah, I know. Enjoy your life. Mm-hmm. And then the less than an hour I spent with this guy or whatever, it, like that naturally comes out of you. Like that definitely mm-hmm. like, flows nah, to like sure, everybody, bro. you know, definitely. Like, you know, I, like, I don't even remember that I went to the internship the other day and I had a, <laughs> you know, it was a piece bro, of shit. Because you're good, yeah. bro. You're on your way up out of there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't need that shit no more. Once no. December come, we're mm-hmm. done. Yeah. Um, Facts. He is he is he able when you're with him all the time? He's like always like this too. Oh, or he's able this to... is both of us. This is all day. Yeah. Okay, all day. Twenty four seven. That's all we yeah. do. That's all we do, bro. Positivity, motivation. <laughs> yeah, ideas. like we hood pokes, man. Real shit. For real uh, shit, like yeah. real shit, like <laughs> nah, because it's funny. Touching niggas. Well, because uh-huh. yesterday, like just a little little quick brief. Like <laughs> it's funny because like. We don't really chill. We don't really chill with many people. Like you got to really? be like on the same wavelength as us. Like if not going to the same goal or want the same thing as us. Okay. So it's just weird. Like when we do chill with people. Mm-hmm. But just long story short, just give it a brief breakdown. We were somewhere and they was just talking about a whole bunch of nonsense that just really? wasn't on our wavelength. Uh-huh. And we just looking at each other like, bro, what are we doing here? This is Why not what we do. Yeah, right. it, it wasn't even really associate. <laughs> it's just more per se of <clears throat> like. We're not going to sit around each other and bullshit each other. It's bad yeah. enough, like, it's enough time being wasted that we sleep. It's enough time being wasted that we got to do things that we don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, it's bad enough we do things to make money because mm-hmm. we have to Survive. take care of ourselves. Yes, Real bro. shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, when we do have that free time, bro, let's talk about building each other. Let's continue to talk about progress, mm-hmm. keep pushing, like, to keep going forward. Because it's like... Cool, like it's funny, like because we sit here and say, like, yo, it's no plan B for us, because it's really not. Like, it's acting for me and it's rapping for him plus okay. acting. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It's as ball as far as we can take it, but mm-hmm. it's like it's no plan B. But we not just relying on rap. We not mm-hmm. just relying on acting. Like you talking about, you looking at your, you looking at philanthropists right here, bro. Right. We are gonna be owners, entrepreneurs. So it's right. like it's not just stop. It's about the growth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah for like, sure. We got to be like this, and it's like, this is how we are. I think this is why we gravitate to each other, and we such around mm-hmm. each other so much is right. because it's like, yo, bro, nah, you can't slack. And then mm-hmm. it's the same. Like, when I'm slacking, yo, B, you can't slack. What you doing, bro? We got to right. just keep going. Keep going. So you so, guys put yourself big time. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. So when we look at this, look at this. I, my personal favorite song is We Alive on here. Okay, because okay. I, I like the, I like, because it's more about the instrumentation and the flow and delivery. Mm-hmm. Can you take me through that one for, uh, um, tell me about that one. So we alive is um, damn. Mm-hmm. I want to say I kind of didn't really write we alive. I kind of just started recording bar for bar. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, 
Um, Tell them what, but it's just what the, you was going through the around the time. Inspiration, bro. Yeah. I, had <laughs> through the ne- I had kicked off the Netflix shit. Okay. And it was fucking with me for a while, like at first. I okay. Friend, it was fucking with me because I know how dope I am. Mm-hmm. And also, I learned a lot. Yeah. So sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Players fuck up too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, um you got you to gotta learn how to take your L's with gracefully. Yeah. And understand what the fuck is going on. So, like, mm-hmm. the hook is like, today, a special day, we alive. Mm-hmm. Bulletproof is which I, what I call him. Is mm-hmm. one of his characters on our show, Talking Shit Show. Okay. So, Bulletproof bought the tree inside. Uh-huh. I'm sticking to it and I beat the odds. Like, meaning mm-hmm. I'm doing some shit that motherfuckers ain't even doing. I'm sticking to my dreams and goals. Yeah, facts. Push okay. it to the limit, to the max. I feel like I need another strap. Oh, I need, mm-hmm. oh, I need to, yeah, like, and mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. I gotta express this. Dangerous mm-hmm. is a nigga with a message. Uh-huh. I count my blessings. Okay. Had so good, I need. I made what I said. He said Had so, so good, good. I'm making a breakfast. Uh huh. Request is uh huh. The exchange gotta be, be even. But mm-hmm. I ain't hungry. I skipped out on eating. Shit, I'll probably be out all weekend. Uh huh. Like I'm not eating her pussy. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Off this shit's got them tweaking. Mm-hmm. I noticed my own signs of weakness. Mm-hmm. Like okay. I own this. I I learned why I didn't get to where I'm going yet. I'm learning on the my way. God, Jesus like, Christ, that's a poem right word. there. So so mm-hmm. then I had to get the tweaking. Okay. Confidence tweaking is your key. yeah. Focus up, you a G. Uh huh. I made it 25. The joke is not, not on, on me. Uh-huh. Kanye said that one of his songs. We wasn't supposed to make it past 25. The joke's on you. We still alive. Uh huh. So that's what that line's from. Right. Okay. That's a Kanye uh, uh, an inspiration Kanye, real quick. Yeah, inspiration okay. Real quick. Cool. Then um. Uh-huh. Yes, I did shrooms twice, twice. Mm-hmm. and I that's see colors differently. differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit is not for me. Okay. Long time no peak. Uh huh. I've been doing this shit for a while, bro. Yeah. It's like this is what you call a streak. Right. When it took a second, now around different, minor mm-hmm. setback. Which uh-huh. is when I kicked off, I felt like then. But the grind difference, you know, high top, who am I kidding? Kidding play. Right. So, again, but it all keeps going back to the, so the show. Same, mm-hmm. Right, that, right. That was around the time I was home. That was like one of the first songs I recorded. Like when I came back home, it was yeah. like, I gotta get my energy right. My energy uh-huh. was trash, bro. Right. Like, and it was just, it was, it was trash for me because I know. Mm hmm. But I also know I need to grow and I need to learn. So yeah. I gotta humble you have to stay humble in this shit and understand, bro. Facts. Mm-hmm. God don't make no mistakes. Right. No. Don't make no mistakes. No. Bro, before I walked into that room, uh-huh. I fucking forgot everything I was gonna say. Yeah. Right before I walked into the room. I'm mm-hmm. my memory is trash. Yeah. But I don't fuck up rhymes. Bro. No. By the way, he's <laughs> this is alluding to the uh, Netflix the, the Netflix episode. show. Yeah. yeah, this is this is when she gets the LA. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll probably we'll have to get on that yeah, for sure like, later. But yeah, but like that mm-hmm. song was just me reminding myself, bro. Like mm-hmm. today's a special day. We alive. Right, right. So any day, it's not like mm-hmm. today's a special day. It's Saturday. Like, yeah. It's like nah, bro. Fucking, no. we alive. Bro. Yeah. If you're hearing this right now, yeah. you can feel the same fucking way. Right. Hood pope shit. Yeah, no dead ass. No fur. The crazy thing is, like, we about to run with that hood pope shit. Nah, that's that's fur. Right. How lucky we are just to be on Earth. Hood pastor, bro. Shit. Like, as a human, my nigga, one. We made it here, bro. We was like one in like what, like four million or some wild crazy shit like that. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we won the race, bro. You got right. six billion sperms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We won the race. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, I didn't even think of it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. deep, bro. It goes, yeah, deep. It goes even shit, further than yeah. that. Yeah, I'm fucking weird, man. Real that's shit, crazy. Man. You know how many how many people's consciences could have been picked up and exactly, it was yours? Bro. Yeah. Like, I came in fourth. You know what I'm saying? Like out mm-hmm. of my pops, like. Mm-hmm. Seeds, I came in fourth place. Man. That's good. You hear? Yeah, so you take that opportunity to go with it. It was like my race, though. You know what I'm saying? Like the first. Nut was like, and they're off. <laughs> My brother was killing these niggas. <laughs> and they're off. Yo, you got in there. You got in there first. Yeah. 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 I made it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see, I'll see you in a couple Next years. Time. Next time. I'll see you in a couple years. Next time, you better hope you get another nut like that. Because, yeah. uh, nigga, you lost that. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. <laughs> Real stress. Damn, he said, and they're off. Poof. <laughs> and, then, and then you lost the second race, too? I wasn't in that. It wasn't my, my, my what they call it? It wasn't my own. That wasn't your caliber. Not my caliber, my own. What they call it? Some, or some shit like that. That wasn't my race. That wasn't your race. It wasn't my race yet. I was like fourth in line. Anyway, I was still in the fourth race. You know, as long as the fourth best came up, you were there. Exactly. Bro. In the fourth open race. Well, okay. Because other races might have been close. Well, right, right, right. You, know you say you ain't even have a chance. Oh, that's true because mm-hmm. yeah, man, mm-hmm. bro, we, we've all killed a lot <laughs> of kids. Talking about yeah, 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 we ain't gonna we kill talk, yeah. but all right. You know, RIP to all all my kids that uh More that are dead right now that didn't make it. Socks, yeah. garbage cans, okay. mouths, mm-hmm. throats, faces, <laughs> kids, eyes, 
Hey. Yo, it is what it is. Yo, you I know. ain't never catch an eye before, but that's 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 no, chance. Unfortunately, I have. About that right now. You said an eye. Listen, <laughs> yeah, what's what you got on the list, bro? We can talk about something totally different. <laughs> Yo, pick a. Pick me one more song here out of this album here before we get into the that's special. That's special to you. That um, really holds decisions, 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 decisions. Okay, uh-huh. take me through it. Um, my boy T Brown, man, R.I.P. Man, he was killed last December, mm-hmm. and um, it was another tough time for me. It was actually around the time of the show too. Like I found out about, I want to say I found out about him dying mm-hmm. right before I was about to blow and perform okay. in Atlanta. In Atlanta. I just moved to Atlanta. Okay. And like a week before, I just moved to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I came up here. Uh-huh. And I found out I was going on living in the floor like a week later after uh-huh. that. And like, I couldn't really record around the time. Mm-hmm. I was just in a weird place where mm-hmm. like, it just felt like, right now, I'm on that line where I can go this way or I can go that way. So mm-hmm. that's what I do next. I tell people all the time, life is 90% what happens to you, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, 10% what happens to you. 90% what you do about it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So like, Decisions, decisions starts off. I could stop right now and go looking for the nigga that done shot T. Brown. No. If I dive in this pussy, will it make me drown? Then it took my energy. I'm feeling lazy now. Uh-huh. I can quit right now and pretend I don't really give a shit right now. Keep fronting for the gram like we lit right now. Truth is, I ain't really doing shit right now. Like, it was just how because, I was feeling. Uh, uh, because of this because murder of that, here. That murder was going on. Like, wow. I like my energy. Mm-hmm. Like, I should pick up the pace. Right. Leave earth, fall off the face. Mm-hmm. Put the weed down like the blunt got laced. Been running for a minute. How long do it take? Doing this shit for mad long. Like, what's mm-hmm. going on? Right. Well, I can run up in the store with a gas station and fill up pump four with a car that I stole because I'm tired of walking. Is you niggas even listening? I'm tired of talking. I can sell my soul in a coffin or bid it in on, on an eBay auction. Mm-hmm. Had a lot of money, but I lost it. I okay. spent 20 bands two times at 18 and 19 years old. Really? On mad bullshit, bro. Like, <laughs> it's dumb. But I bought my laptop and I bought my camera. So you got two things, things that I still, still use. Yeah. yeah. Had a lot of money, but I lost it. Now mm-hmm. I gotta find it. No niggas yeah. hating, kill them with the kindness or kill them with the silence, bro. And it's right. Like, that's, that's crazy. And all. All, all through that that's, one, that's what's going through your head at, like, that, at that time. At that time, it was yeah. just like little thoughts was popping up, and like uh-huh. that song helped me yeah. bring my energy back up. Because it's mm-hmm. just like everybody has felt like this before, and if you yeah. haven't, you're going to feel like you're going to get it eventually. Shit sometimes yeah. you have to pick yourself up, bro. Like, right. Mm-hmm. And I pick myself up through my music, bro. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. And in the process, I love the fact that other people hear this shit and get inspired and get off their ass and start right. chasing their dreams. Cause uh-huh. This is for you, nigga. I believe in you. I think you can do exactly what you're trying to do right now what's in your head. So you need to actually take it seriously and just put that time in, bro. And don't yeah. get fucked up and don't mm-hmm. think about it too much. Just do Thanks. it. Stay do patient, it. man. Real shit. Do Stay it. patient. But like, yeah. it's going to happen regardless. Mm-hmm. Well, you might mm-hmm. as well, yo, bro, it's happening. You might as well do some shit. We just woke up. We don't know what the fuck this shit is anyway. Mm-hmm. You don't go outside, look up in the sky, look, that's the sky, nigga. That shit mm-hmm. could be the hot low shooting out. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. So at the same time, I might as well, my nigga, make this shit. What the fuck you want to make this shit? Nigga, I'm coming out, nigga. Nigga said, when I die, nigga, bury me in um, Versace. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I did it, nigga. You got it. You got <laughs> that. I did it. You know what I'm right, saying? right, right. Versace. Chilling, nigga. Put For sure. Versace on me and wake up and smack somebody. For sure. Nah, it's going to be chilling Versace. <laughs> yeah. Chisachi, nigga. Chisachi. Yeah. Chisachi. Yeah. All right, Joe, let's talk about. Let's talk about Netflix. All right, let's do let's it. Let's talk man. about Netflix. Not many people can say that they're on Netflix. Everyone well, can say they've been on YouTube. I they can, can put up on YouTube. I literally Netflix and chill with my my woman, my queen. Watching yourself. And watch myself. Who can say that? As How many I people can say they say that? As I wax that ass. Yeah. Waxing that ass, waxing no. that ass, waxing okay. that ass. <laughs> she can I'm going to wax. I'm going to wax your bitch. I'm going to wax your bitch. Say what you want, nigga. Prostitute, prostitute, yeah. 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 Big prostitute energy. Big, big prostitute energy. That's, that's what come out of rhythm and flow for you? Big prostitute energy. Okay. Got it. So take me through this. You hear the announcement that they're going to be doing this show. So what is your, are you, do you know when you hear this right away, you're like, I'm competing. No, I yeah. actually heard about the show and said, I'm not doing it. Okay. Really? I already auditioned for the show before I even heard about it. Really? Not knowing. I auditioned for an untitled hip hop project. Okay. Not knowing I was auditioning for Rhythm and Flow. I seen the ad for Rhythm and Flow and said, I ain't doing that shit. Mm-hmm. I got contacted again from the Untitled Hip Hop Project, but this time it's called Rhythm and Flow. Mm-hmm. You got con- <laughs> they contacted you. Exactly. Okay. Saying you did great mm-hmm. in your first audition, now for the second audition at SOBs. 
So that was the first cut. Exactly. Oh, okay. So all the people that were at SOBs that they at least they they proved... made it to mm-hmm. SOBs. So even okay. to get to SOBs, you had to be dope. Okay, cool. So get to that spot in those other cities, you have to be dope. Were they? Were, did they pick some purposely really bad ones to roast on the show? I, maybe? I feel like it's television, so we don't. Yeah. We not gonna say we not gonna. It was like casting right, almost. Facts. We gonna play right. the game. We gonna play the game. We gonna play the game. It, yeah. I tell you one time, you can't say too yeah, much. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Watching us. Facts. They are always watching. All right, Big Brother. Mm-hmm. I'm a, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna just say. It was some people on there that said they never performed before. That was their first no, performance. So, uh, just gonna leave it at that. It was. Ooh. I don't know I how think, that went. I think you gotta do what you gotta do when you put on the show. Facts. Okay, right, right, right. I'm not saying anything about anything else. Facts. Yeah, you have you're to, making it for the viewer. They you have go. to put on the show. Facts. Okay. So you, so you, get, so you get the SOBs. Media training. Uh huh. <laughs> you get the SOBs, <laughs> and all these guys uh-huh. are in the room. Okay. All these people are in the room. What are you thinking when you're when you're back when you're talking? Um, well, honestly, I'm ready to fucking perform already. I've mm-hmm. been in the room with like the biggest hip hop stars. People don't know, but like I work at Sirius XM. Me and Ben work at Sirius XM. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Interviews for fucking like, doping artists out. So it's uh-huh. like for Superstar J. So it's like been doing that shit. Mm-hmm. So I've been in everybody's face already. It's kind of right. just like nobody knows me as Monte Carter. Right. Motherfuckers know me as the camera guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, oh, so you're, so you're camera at Sirius. Yeah, That's cool. Okay. So yeah. it's like, um, That's cool. So it's like, um, with that, that doesn't excite me. The celebrity shit mm-hmm. don't really mean nothing to me. It's yeah. more so like, I'm just ready to perform. I know this man had cameras out here. I also know this is a show and I know it's going to be on Netflix, but like, mm-hmm. It's in my head, but it's not really in my head. It's kind yeah. of like a myth. It's just, it's like we in this room right now. Yeah. It's like, yo, this is being recorded. This is going to be on Netflix. Yeah. You'd be like, okay. Okay. It's kind of normal. Yeah. But you were going to take it on your be- your, on your best foot anyway. Yeah, you know, it was like, best foot foot Okay. Um, what I didn't like, mm-hmm. Ooh. what I didn't like was um the fact that I couldn't jump into the crowd. Okay, they were like, interesting. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do mm. this. And I literally felt boxed in while I was on stage. Like, you had to go back and forth on stage, and that was all like, you could I do. I can't really, really do yeah. and, and I realized something. Uh-huh. Don't ask nobody shit. Mm. Just okay. do what Just the do fuck it. you say you was going to do. Or don't okay. you talk about doing Don't ask nobody shit. Because as mm-hmm. soon as you bring up that idea, they be like, no. Don't do it. Don't do that. But, but if you would have did it, did it, nobody would have said shit. Because he never they had any precautions. They would have praised you, boy. They would have praised you, boy. So. Interesting. Don't ask somebody no fucking questions. Just be yourself. Um. I'll say from it, the believe it or not, like it's funny because how they show it. I was dead too, so it was like you were at SBS. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was dead. Um, I was in the crowd. Be uh-huh. everywhere with me. Yeah, I'm everywhere mm-hmm. with him. Uh-huh. Um, that's my brother. Like Real from shit. another mother, blood Real couldn't shit. make us any, any closer. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> funny part is, bro, he was the twelfth person to perform. <laughs> yeah, he was telling me the twelfth, thirteenth. He was the twelfth, thirteenth person but to they, perform, but, but they, they put started. him first. That's why it was like when we seen the show, we was like, yo, bro, you. First. First, bro, but you was the twelfth person. So did they? Did they? How to? Did, when you got introduced, because I didn't they say up first is one take card. The DJ said that in yeah. the show. In the show. In the show. So when they when they went back, bro, it's they, cool. they, they editing. must have editing. So bro. they must have recorded that bro, afterwards. They are kings of edits, bro. Oh, yeah. There's some of the videos that they still put out, and they take yeah. clips that we remember. Like, how did they clip it and put it to? Bro, yeah. it's called editing. They, they do a great they job. Yeah, they did a great yeah. job, yeah. bro. Listen, mm-hmm. you gotta put on the show. Thanks. Right. So you get up there with your checkerboard shoes, your checkerboard pants, uh-huh. your checkerboard jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got up there with a chilling jumpsuit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fly ass black and white marathon suit on. Yeah. Post this is this is pre Nipsey's death. I'm pre Nipsey hustle. Mm-hmm. With but the fans to match. I just knew that I had to do some shit. I had to wear some shit that that make you stand out. Of the, the, the that brings out one thing part funny, of the person. So I went shopping. So okay. They tell me send three outfits in. Three outfits. Really? So they sent me ten pictures of three outfits, and I went shopping. And uh-huh. the jumpsuit was one of the things I bought. Uh huh. The I bought a, I bought a couple different outfits. Sent it to them. Sent them pictures. Mm-hmm. And they wear that. Interesting. Oh, so they they cast your clothing too. Mm-hmm. They have oh. to put on a show. <laughs> so they need to make everybody look distinctive. <clears throat> But I'm happy to put that fucking suit on me because it was a chilling. It was a cool suit. What were the other two? If you look at the other episode I'm on, mm-hmm. it's a chilling hoodie. Like I got signed off to put my own shit on Netflix. Right. Fat Joe said, I don't know what the fuck you're wearing. And I said, yeah. and it's chilling. Uh huh. And it's chilling. And motherfuckers from different countries is asking me about a jumpsuit that I don't even fucking have anymore. Like, wow. I have one other, I have two of them shits right now. And they're both yeah. extra large. So if you got like $500, I'll sell it to you. 
Shoo, man. This is, and this is a this is the wow. same piece. Low that was in this show. Low bullet. That's what I said. More yeah. like five hundred thousand. Nigga said that was the yeah. same I piece mean, you wore, bro. That's vintage, shit. bro. That's, that's, that's legendary shit, right bro. Now. This is right now. This yeah. is, oh, right now. Yeah, you like said so. After the interview, man, it's going up. It's going up again. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Half a mil. Half a mil. You got This guy got to eat. You know you. I You're gonna eat. be this is this going eat. in the hip hop museum. Cameraman gotta eat big facts. This facts. is real big facts. This is real big facts, bro. But mm-hmm. I, I went up there, bro, and like I wasn't like mm-hmm. y'all want me to wear that. Yeah. I'm like, this is me. I picked out this outfit. I'm wearing right. this shit on the regular. I mm-hmm. do what the fuck other people are scared to do anyway, bro. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Okay. So you took it as a compliment almost in a way. Yeah, like, right, that's what I was going to wear anyway. Like, yeah. They're pointing you out in a way. Whereas right. others, they would come out with something and they're not even going to acknowledge it at all. I feel like when you got the flair, bro, when you when you got a certain swag, it's, mm-hmm. you used to the shit like that. Mm-hmm. Bro. You're used gotcha. to the motherfuckers being like, what are you doing? What are you, what's up to you? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm yeah. doing me, bro. Like, mm-hmm. Think about anybody, bro, that made it that you fuck with. They're doing something that uh-huh. everybody else is not doing. They're right. scared to do, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm not doing it to get put on, bro. I've mm-hmm. been dressing like this. I had my hot top fade since fucking sixth grade, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> this a, is a signature look this for is you, not a yeah, act, bro. Yeah, gotcha. so, it's like... so okay, um, so you get up on. I've I've seen the performance. So he goes up there. Fat Joe roasts him a little bit on his outfit, but the people are fuck. They're fucking with you. The, the the judges are fucking with you. So this man ends up passing. Mm-hmm. Well, you were talking about how the judges were pretty hard on some other ones. What were you? Oh, what hard. did you witness? Go back to Jersey. Go back to Jersey. <laughs> And you don't have to go into detail on this, but like, who, like, what type of artists were we looking here? What, what kind of sound? Were they your spitter? Were they like, um, it was some spitters. It was, a, it was, it was just, a spitter? It's, it's like, this rap shit, anything that you're doing, it's mm-hmm. not about what you're doing. It's mm-hmm. about how you're doing it. Oh, so they just didn't know how to present exactly. themselves? Like, oh, okay. It's just like, not even, like, I don't want to say, bro, some people need some work. Some people mm-hmm. deserve to go, but this wasn't room for them. Yeah. Some people got told they were going and didn't get to go. Right, because they, they probably they, invited they more people cuts, than. Bro, but, not because of that. Yeah. Because it's a show, mm-hmm. and you have to put on the show. And you have to. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like um, <laughs> you need thirty different. You need thirty different people, like thirty different characters. Like bro, there can be like exactly. Was bro, there, so when if I'm putting on a show, I'm putting yeah. on a show too. Like right. all right, yo, she cool, but uh, she got a bigger butt, or she cool, but she got a better look. Yeah. She got a better look. Right. It's, it makes it brings everybody together. Because when I was room, looking at the man. cipher. And it was you, and it was there was three others. Mm-hmm. Nobody looked alike, and I'm sure those other three guys and you, nobody in the thirty Facts. looked like any one of you. Like everyone looked distinctive, everybody everyone looked different. Right, right, okay. swag. And I feel like, mm-hmm. like bro, it's a show you got to put on the show, but I also feel like you have to play the game. Right. Mm-hmm. You cannot go out there thinking you in control, bro. And that's yeah. what I did. Oh, uh, okay. So anybody watching this shit, watching it, I'm gonna look at you, motherfuckers, one more time. Mm-hmm. You gotta play the game mm-hmm. till you get your name up, till you really making fucking noise, till you in control, because you're not in control in Hollywood, bro. Mm-hmm. And no. it's not on some shit where I'm saying anything bad about rhythm and flow. I fuck with rhythm and flow. I, got, I learned a lot from rhythm and flow. Mm-hmm. I'm on Netflix, like I said, I can watch Netflix and chill with your grandmother. It's <laughs> literally, I, I literally I can watch myself. It's cool. Mm-hmm. But you have to learn the rules of Hollywood. I'm the first mm-hmm. nigga from Long Island that I know that's been to Hollywood, bro. Literally, yeah. Like I'm the only like in a in a Hollywood competition, in yeah. A, in a like, real shit, yeah. in a Hollywood setting. In a Hollywood yeah. on the back lot, bro. Like from dark side to Hollywood, I did that shit already. Mm-hmm. And I I was I had an early departure because I didn't know how to play the game, bro. Right. I wasn't trying to play the game. You were just trying to be. You, you. ever seen mm-hmm. Chappelle's show and keep it real goes wrong? Um, all right, so you gotta watch the show and they got a, they got a segment when keeping it real goes wrong. Okay, and it'd be somebody telling somebody else how they really feel about something, mm-hmm. and then it backfired on them because mm-hmm. they kept it real. Right. Sometimes you gotta learn when to shut, shut the fuck up. up. I was on that mm-hmm. like. They're like, how do you feel about this right now, Carter? How do you feel? I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm ready to go home. I want some pizza and some pussy right now. Ew. The pizza or the... What were you looking forward to the most? New York pizza or the pussy? Um, New York pizza. Definitely. Yeah, same. Yeah. For sure. Anything I was touching back then was trash. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they don't know how to make pizza out of California. You're going to have There's some no angry way. text messages soon. Bro. <laughs> fuck There's n- fuck it, we getting money, Yeah. Man. Nah, the California, California pizza can't be good. It can't be good. Bro, I haven't met any pizza outside of New York, period. That you met, this no. is one spot in the A. In the Atlanta? Me a head, bro. Which one? Um, I, we ain't eat it. I ain't eat it with you. Nah, I ain't eat that with you. Nah. Margaret, mamas. Mamas? I still. Mamas? 
Was it Mama's? Oh, Mama's is the taco spot. Yeah, bro. I'm still thinking about Mama's, boy. This is a taco spot in, in, in the A? Yeah. Wow. Bro. Okay. It was open 24 hours drive through. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, oh, my God. 24 hours. Wow. Like said, bro, Son, it was really? a picture margarita, bro. You picture got a picture margarita for like $20. One day we got that picture and we was so sourced. Yeah. Damn, Damn son. That's good. But I feel like the Hollywood thing, um, they want you to be perfect. Like it's like um, when you come in front of them, they they expect you to be perfect. They don't mm-hmm. they don't expect you to they expect you to know it all. Like that's right. the that's the type of energy I feel like they give off. Like okay. you should have knew this already. Right. It's like, bro, this right. is my first time. Right. I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? You post, like real shit, like you mm-hmm. said, but at the same time, bro, you have to go through it to grow Yo, through it. Facts. And you have to, bro, and I feel way stronger. Like mm-hmm. y'all watching this shit now. Like the show mm-hmm. dropped October 9th, and every week they were releasing new episodes. This shit happened for me in January. January. Facts. So you so were just like, like it was our first week of January. Bro, I'm getting ready for this shit mentally from January to October. Like, mm-hmm. yo, this is about to happen. Motherfuckers right. are gonna start moving funny with Shay Hard. Right. Motherfuckers are gonna start acting like I'm some huge dude for no reason. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers gonna start noticing me. Right. But mentally I took uh, L and I got over it before mm-hmm. October even hit. Yeah, for sure. And then is that is that the reason you wanna put who is one take Carter out around this same, time, bro. I put yeah. who was one take Carter out the same day. Fucking Cardi B shares a video of me on a fucking story, bro. Oh, okay, cool. So like my shit was going crazy. Mm-hmm. And, like it's like that's really what it is. Is like these songs are a group of songs that are defining me as an artist. Like yeah. my my wavelength that I be on when making music, mm-hmm. and this is coming around out the same time that people are finding out who I am from all over the world. Right, it's fucking cool, bro. Like, uh huh. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, move. All right. I think we got to talk the talk your shit show. We got to talk about the talk your shit show let's do here. It, man. Let's do it. Are, is, is it more than just you two, first of all, before we get in? So, we are the main host. And okay. We also, have Red Jordan usually shooting for us. Shout out my cameraman, my bro. Mm-hmm. It's from another mother, my fucking Facts. partner in creation. Mm-hmm. Rhythm and, I mean, rhythm and fucking Red Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> rhythm and Red Jordan. Rhythm and Red Jordan. <laughs> That's my bro. Fact. Okay. He's a fucking creative goat. He's a deal too. He um helps us with the show. Okay. And mad, but like it's pretty much Chappelle show mm-hmm. mixed with like an interview talk show and mm-hmm. the Breakfast like, Club. Yeah, it's like Bam Bam came to me with the idea, mm-hmm. and he knew I was doing the shit with the film shit, and um, okay. he's like, "Yo, I got an idea for you." Mm-hmm. He, we, I was shooting his son's birthday party. Mind you, we knew each other since 10th grade. He's in uh-huh. the first film class I ever took. Okay. That's where we... I was in 10th grade. He was in 12th. God makes he, no mistakes. He's mm-hmm. a big, big bro to me. He put me on a whiz back then. Put me on a mad shit. But like, mm-hmm. he come in class wilding every day. Wilding really? the fuck out. Bugging Why out. are you wilding so much? Bro, I was just one of those kids and I'm still like this. Like, it's like, it grew more. I don't give a fuck how you, mm-hmm. everybody <laughs> watching this video. I don't care how you feel about me. I don't even yeah. care about how my mom You're and dad authentic. feel about me. More authentic, bro. Like, this shit is real. It's only one me. You can't make this again. No. So, I'm going to show you who I am. And it just is what right. it is. I don't care how you feel about me, what you got to say about me. That's your personal opinion. Yeah. See, do you fuck with me or you don't? And if you don't, you don't gotta fuck with me. I'm gonna just keep walking. Gotcha. How you doing? I'm gonna okay. still. How you doing? You good? You having a great day? I'm you great? great day. That's great. Continue yeah. to be great and amazing. Uh-huh. I keep it pushing. Right. That's simple. Right. And you had to talk your shit. Talk your shit. To show, show hoodie. hoodie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very nice. Big T. Big T Y S S. You heard? You heard? We in the building. We talking our shit. So, what are some of the favorite scenes that you guys have done? Our favorite interviews so we, or favorite bro, memories? Catching, so How many years, story. first of all, we've been doing been this? On? A, year, a year and a half. Yeah, year, year, year and a half. half. Okay. Catching, catching fucking sneaking into the TDE Championship Tour at Jones Beach. Yeah, oh, wow. okay. Wow. And interviewing Tony Yayo. Whoa, bro. yo, Tony Yayo. Two separate stories here. No, same story. Same story. Same same story. Day. Same Tony Yayo. Tony Yayo from G Unit. G no. Unit. Wow, bro, my he's a weird uh-huh. son of a bitch. My, nah, he's cool. He's cool. He, he weird. He's cool. He's weird. weird. He was cool that day. We had, but he's a goofy guy. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, nah, he's, he's definitely goofy. goofy. He's cool. He's is he's not the one that I'm made the really 2015 man. freshman list. He's the one who came out like in the 2000s. Or am I swapping them? There's two of them. Tony Yayo is. is um, I pissed out it? Chris. Oh, yeah. he's the one. <laughs> the <laughs> day. We are day. So you're hey, in 2000. Hold on. Just pass my curfew. Uh-huh. My parole and I'm now. Oh, I'm the club. Don't call up. Yo, yo, yo. 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 It's a 38. It's a 38. on me. Yeah, yeah, that's Tony Ayo. Yeah, Tony yeah. Yeah. So what happened in this interview? How did, how did this First go First of all, we got to talk about how it happened. What? Yeah. Like, we was chilling. We were shooting that day. We were shooting. I think it was uh Bingo Boys. We were shooting the Bingo Boys, right? Bingo Boys is 
old. Yeah, characters. it's it's our old characters on our show. Okay. Uh, you gotta check that out. But we were shooting and talking, and Carter and Red was like, "Yo, bro, it's the TDE concert going on. <laughs> Let's go." And so okay. Had to get in there. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Him, yeah. What were you What were you working in Jones Beach for? Fucking, um, I was that's working in the kitchen point. as a fry cook. Okay, and gotcha. I was running like a digital food order app in that bitch. Oh god! <laughs> and and um, our cameraman he used to work with Carter, so they was like, "Yo, bro, we know how to get in there. Let's sneak in there." Mm-hmm. So he was like, "Damn, bro, like we ain't got no tickets. If we get caught, we gonna look foolish." Niggas yeah. like, "Man, we fuck it, let's caught. go. We ain't yeah. getting caught." Fuck so he's like, "Fuck it, let's go." Uh huh. Me, Carter, uh, my homie Britt, and uh, Ray yeah. Jordan. We got in the car. Mm-hmm. We literally we hit the road. We went straight. Walked like, straight in there. Walked straight. Waited in the VIP. Mm-hmm. Sat in the VIP area to the concert started. Hold on. Before before that, we pulled up. Right, because you forgot the whole main point. We pulled up. So we ain't know we had to go through a checkpoint. Back in the day, they was telling us, you know, they worked there. You just walk in and then you go to your, like, they have somebody standing there and tell you where you go. And right. then you go sign in and check in. Okay. But this time, they have a whole trailer. Yeah, like, yeah, whole, soon you walk through the gate. Going? Where's your ID? Who you work with? Who's your manager? Yeah. So, Carter and Red. Daisy, I was like, I got to meet with Daisy. She hiring us. Uh, mm-hmm. They was, like, right, they was trying to give us a hard time. Yeah, they was trying to give us a hard right, time. They was like, call Daisy. He like, yo, I'm telling you, Daisy, no, I'm coming. It was like, Daisy just left. She had come back. He like, yo, Daisy, you expect me. Like, come on, I'm late already. It mm-hmm. was like, all right, y'all, go ahead. Y'all all for Daisy? <laughs> yeah, we all for Daisy. <laughs> And they sent us in, and we bro. was in there, and we was hiding. Camera, all of that. All of that. You were hired. We, no, we hide. We was hiding. hiding. We was hiding, hiding in one of the outside kitchens. Okay. Then we walked up, We walked around the whole venue. Then uh-huh. it was like, yo, bro, let's just go sneak into VIP. Went yeah. to VIP, bro, in there. <laughs> see Yayo in there after mm-hmm. a while. Concert start, whatever. <laughs> Why was Tony like, Yayo doing it there? They had a G-Unit. No, no, TDE. He had the TDE hoodie on. Yeah, he, he had the TDE hoodie. Like, we was nervous. This is our first time interviewing... Somebody mm-hmm. unexpected. Unexpected. Okay, fact. so everything yeah, else is planned. We, we had interviewed this biscuit already. It's biscuit, Superstar J. Superstar J. We interviewed. Um, did we interview Maya? Yet? Yeah, we interviewed Maya. Yeah, so wait, why did why did you decide? To, you know, of all the people, Tony Yayo, like we got to interview this guy. Interview Tony it, it was a it was right place, right place, right time. And when, when you saw me, like you guys just both knew the same thing. Yeah, like, well, Carter actually was going over there to get a drink. I forgot yeah. what Carter was doing, but he was doing something. He was like, "Yo, B, Tony Yayo over there, and let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's get it." Let's and get it. that was it. We turned on the camera and we ran down on him. He was with his family, his son, and his you he know, was cool, his mother. He, he was, was cool. cool. I was like, "You interviewed?" He was like, "Yeah." Word. yeah. He showed mad love. He was like, "Yo, I appreciate." Y'all brothers, like y'all working, even like you know, knowing who I am, y'all just took the chance to step up. Right, right, right. Got no, free food that day, free nice. drinks. Yeah, nice. Lit, lit. <laughs> you'd have thought we was the VIP, bro. We that are, we are VIP. Really. Now wait, and so you saw the free performance too, and everything. All of that. Wow. All of that. That's Only sick. thing we just ain't get to do was go backstage, and we was on our way to do that, but security oh, stopped us on that. So we was like, yo, you know what? We ain't going to get kicked out because we don't even got passes to right. be here. Right. So it's just like, yo, let's Quit just while go you're ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Let's go chill in the What did you talk to Kanye about? And how long was it? In, was it was a few minutes. A few minutes. I'm okay. pretty much asking him questions about, like, success and uh-huh. how to t- obtain it. And, like, he was just giving us a backstory about G Unit and how uh-huh. 50 just never stopped and how mm-hmm. he hustled hard. And, like, yeah, no, no. How you just got to keep hustling, keep grinding no matter what. Facts. Uh-huh. Like, it, that was pretty much it. We were just telling him. It was mm-hmm. really early on us starting our show. Show. Okay. Like maybe, what, fifth, fourth episode? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like a few weeks in, mm-hmm. and he was just giving us game. It was right mm-hmm. on time. Yeah. It was cool. Right on yeah. time. Still, this word still stuck with you? Yeah. It, it, it like, <clears throat> um, sticks with me every day. Like, it, mm-hmm. it's not really, it's not really per se of what he said. It just gave comfort. Into how we already feel, because mm-hmm. it's like we have that already. Like, yeah. see, it's different. Like, if it was like we had got that conversation from him, and it was like, you know, mm-hmm. that's not who we are. But as people, it's like we always big ourselves up, so we always motivating and always positive talking, watching motivational videos and shit like mm-hmm. that all the time. So right. it was just dope and actually great to hear from an actual artist and yeah. somebody that's kind of a celebrity that's yeah. a celebrity and already right. made it through uh-huh. and it's like yo y'all doing all the right things just keep going like right. there's no time for sure for sure no that's the and he's around 50 and 50 has done incredible wait, things yo. past music i think is his biggest accomplishment that's my guy right doing. there 50 the homie um you know so wait so you are in acting you also do acting mm-hmm. what do you per- personally what do you enjoy the most making music filmmaking or acting in front of camera um, like right now, in in, in what what did it say? October thirtieth, twenty nineteen. What would if I said you present so you? What would weird. you want to do? I really um, I like making the movies for the music. Okay. Or making the music for the movies. 
So, okay, so, so you're like in the music video, the visuals game. Kind scoring of. and like, mm-hmm. like, I just like that. I like the fact that I can make the whole movie. Okay, gotcha. So I can write the script, I can shoot, edit, and I can make the music and score it. Like, that mm-hmm. shit makes my dick hard. Right. But like, there isn't really a, it's, it's 50-50, sometimes it's 51-49 music, yeah. sometimes it's 51-49 film. Film. It, it goes back and forth, right? Mm-hmm. Right now, because I already put the music out, yeah. I just want to fucking film, 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 film. film, film, film. Right? Okay. So now that, that's what you're brainstorming on? I guess both of you are brainstorming on is the yeah, film? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I actually uh, wrote a movie recently that we bought to direct. So. Okay, cool. What is that movie on? Um, um, it didn't come out yet. It's gonna. Be, I'll yeah, give you the title. Yeah, we got a casting call coming out. Mm-hmm. So, um, if you guys following One Take Cardo, VCS Bam, Tokyo Shit Show, we announcing the casting call. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and um, I'll give you the title of it. What's like the? Uh, it's called. It's called. It changed my life. Okay. Um, it's sort of about. It was like it was like how I originally wrote it was about mm-hmm. drugs, mm-hmm. like the drug game, and it's really mainly about a kid that grew up with his parents. Mm-hmm. And he had it all. He didn't. He didn't have to choose the streets, but he chose the streets just because he thought he had the answers to it. You know mm. what I'm saying? And to I fix feel it like or to <clears throat> just in it. general, he just thought he was a street kid. Like he 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 wanted to play a, a role that he wasn't. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And and I just wanted to tap into that because I feel like so many kids today. It's like they wouldn't put on an image for somebody else. They want right. to show somebody yeah. else, oh, I'm this tough. I'm a yeah. gang member. Or they're just being something they're not. Fuck everybody. Fuck yeah. everybody. Real right. shit. And it's like, I just, it's, it's deeper. So that was that was the main message is mm-hmm. it's it's a kid who he didn't have to choose the streets. He had mm-hmm. it. He, he could have went the straight road, but he wanted to play in the streets and see that okay. it it wasn't meant for him. Right. It wasn't built. So mm-hmm. it just changed his life. Yeah. yeah, and it changed his life. And the two of you, are you guys going to be in the, the movie or are you guys oh, yeah. just going to be yes, behind the scenes? Of course. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Do you guys have your roles already picked? What you're um, going to be doing? I have my role. Yeah. I, I asked him what role he wanted to pick. He's still up and down because he's still in between reading the script. So it's okay. like, gotcha. he wants some, you know. Yeah, in the early stages. But yeah. yeah. That's yeah. dope, bro. And then uh, definitely we, when that comes out, let me know because I got the most shit out there. Watch bro. it, you definitely. know. We got you, man. Yeah, yeah. no, we got to definitely put on for... The thing is filmmaking out here. I haven't really been... That has one area I haven't really touched nah, on. Nah, nah, nah. We the fucking goats. We yeah. the goats of uh, Uniondale, Hempstead, Long Island. Um, yeah. Us, Red Jordan, Jordan Pro, Pro Love. Love. Facts. Mm-hmm. Um, we also got my man, Dead Station. That's killing shit. You oh, got, um, yeah. He's actually... Yo, exciting news. Dead Station, he's coming in in a week to film. Got, do a what? podcast. Oh, what? Right. Shout out him. Dead Station's coming. Shout out Dead Station. Young King. Yo, I'm excited. This is gonna be that's gonna be a great I podcast. Interview with him on, on November 4th. I know he's doing some. He's doing like a lot of. Yeah, he's backing up his right. interviews too. Yeah, no, for sure. That's good that we're all, everybody's pushing, right. oh, shit, pushing bro, shit out. Bro, bro, bro. LI is yeah. next up, bro. Yeah, that ass. And, we have all. And the funny part is what nobody understands is like like we talk about all the time is like we say like everybody has their run. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think people realize it's like when Atlanta got hot, Atlanta mm-hmm. was hot. You you had six seven artists come out of Atlanta when it got hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New York, like right now, the mm-hmm. parts of New York that's hot is Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Once Brooklyn got hot, like like it's funny because <clears throat> Rowdy and Bobby started it. Yeah, it died a little bit just because nobody wanted to take that risk on gang members. Okay. But look what so happened again. It got okay. hot again. It gotcha. got to the street. So it's uh-huh. like, oh shit, they got the street. So right, right now Brooklyn got it. So Brooklyn. that's why it's like we sit here and talk, bro. When Long Island goes on its run, the world is gonna be so shocked yeah, yeah. because nobody is gonna know. We never did it before. How much talent was out we here? Like yo, it. it was that much talent out here, and then yeah. so many people come from out of New York, LA yeah. that do pop, but never. But they never rep it. Never rep it. They never want to claim fact. Long Island. Never. It's like, yo, what's so bad about Long Island, bro? You yeah. got your first bit of pussy mm-hmm. here. Like, you got money here. Like, you was born here, bro. You Somebody born, came out the vagina and slapped you on your butt. Before you moved out here, I go up and clean. Yeah. This shit. But we rep this right. shit hard. Like, yeah. I, I tell niggas all the sure. time. Like, yo, bro, uh-huh. this, this is where it went down first. Like, major shit, really. Like, I've done major shit in Brooklyn, but mm-hmm. this is where I can say it really got real. And I was like, oh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, this right. is home. For sure. Know? But when Long Island go on that run, bro, we mm-hmm. gonna be so hot. Yeah, the world is gonna rock. I like, tell you, this island is different than all the rest of the all the rest of New York boroughs. We're more, I'd say, we're more rock stars out here for sure. Mm-hmm. Like we have that more more with mm-hmm. high energy, positive energy. You, I, I feel like it's such diverse out here. It is, and, and so many people different. that don't know about New about Long Island that's just live in New York City. Mm-hmm. It's like they 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 just trapped into man. I'm not going to the suburbs. I'm not going mm-hmm. to a white neighborhood. I'm not going to something where y'all and got they, they grass. Be more, less and wrong. they don't. Mm-hmm. Need 
even off. understand, bro. It yeah. gets sh- the if not worse, yeah. the same is out there. The only difference is they don't glorify Long Island too much because yeah. where's your highest tax bracket yeah. in the United States? It's Nassau here. County and Suffolk Nassau County, County, bro, is your mm-hmm. number three and two areas for most taxes paid in United States, bro. You think they gonna advertise crime? No, when we want you no, to no, move no. When you want to move there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop it. We're not doing that. No, 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 shit. no. Because here's the thing: like, there's shit. the hoods here, the beaches here, the suburbs are here, like, and they're very close to each other. When you think about mm-hmm. it, like literally, Real like shit. right where we're at is pretty much. I think Union Hill is probably like a midway town. Word. You can go one side to Hempstead, you're in the. Well, hood. You go to one side to, to East, East Meadow, Meadow, you're getting. You know, it's not like the most beautiful town out there. It's a little bit blue collar, but you're getting nicer, nicer, nicer. You get to Farmingdale, you're there. There, facts, and like I said, down the road, it's all about diversity, and like. I said, mm-hmm. you know what's funny? I feel mm-hmm. like when Long Island blow, bro, everybody's gonna call New York Long Island. Really? Interesting. Niggas gonna say, yo, you live in Brooklyn? You live on Long Island, bro. No. Real shit, bro. Yeah. No, Cause right. Brooklyn is in Long Island. Queens is in Long Island. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you get what I'm saying? That's when niggas don't want to pay attention to Long Island. Like, mm-hmm. oh nah, Long Island's New York. Nah, yeah. we've been saying it was New York, but nobody wanted to claim it. Right, right. Well, we no. got two of y'all major boroughs on Long Island. Right. Oh, That's true. I didn't think about that, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, for real, for real. That's crazy. Um, yo, so anyways, we're probably gonna have to wrap this up here, but we have yeah, I have a few little good. little things to say. First of all, your hair. So you've been saying you've been doing this shit since sixth grade. More, how more, how much does it six, keep how do, <laughs> um, how do you keep this up? How do you keep this up? A lot of Afro sheen. Yeah. <laughs> first off, you know what I'm saying? First thing I do in the morning, man, mm-hmm. I like I just put my head I got this hole in my ceiling. Okay, a hole. That's a black hole in my ceiling, and I just stick my head in it. <laughs> and then it just all comes like. <laughs> Damn, son. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a couple of different elves and shit in the uh-huh. ceiling, and they got some ill ass conditioner and leave in and shit uh-huh. like that. And Boom. Every I day. I don't touch it, bro. It just touches itself. It does right. itself, does its own thing. I just kind of just leave it. This, he has really, his, his hair hasn't moved the whole time. I don't go to the barbershop no more, son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No? My elves. Do you do this yourself? My elves, they hold it down. So. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Nah, shout out to E.B. the barber. I'm fucking corn. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, it's an afro. It's just shaped. Mm-hmm. Shaped <laughs> afro. That's what it's yeah. called. Got Negro hair, so it doesn't um, it doesn't fall. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What that? What's that shit that, that the older fucking Muslim niggas be saying this shit? They be like, be like, man, you know, black people hair stands up, goes to the sun. <laughs> Man, listen, man. Why ain't nothing wrong with your hair if it droop, man? Yeah. Fuck all that, but yeah, that's man. It's the afro that shape. That's all. Gotcha. That's crazy. No, I'm. I bet I, I. I keep dying my hair. I keep dying it blonde. But apparently that's just really bad for your hair. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of making this bad. Times too, bro. I ain't bro. Mad at you, bro. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun when you're young. It's fun. Yeah. I like your hair, bro. bro. Thank dope, you, man. Bro. I appreciate that. I gotta get a haircut. I gotta hit the hair salon. Um. It's actually a unisex barber and hair salon in. Uh, no, nah, so listen, because, listen, bro. You ain't have to explain. Listen, you no, nah, unisex you them, barber bro. and hair salon because because I need the hair salon part for the dyeing, but I need the barber for the cut. Now, listen, how so, much is your hair and the dye together, bro? I'm not even gonna front. It's fifty five. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you. No. I paid fifty five before for yeah. a fucking a blowout. Nah, for for everything. Um. Okay. So your hair. Yes. Like, you say you paid fifty five. Fifty five be for the well the cut and the, and the, and the. Die. Bro, I paid fifty dollars before, bro, mm-hmm. for a cut. Yeah, but not my face, bro. Really? Oh, you get the you get the face too. Nah, like, I never did that spot. before. It's one spot. Like they didn't even mm-hmm. shave my face. I do nothing extra. Like they just literally did all of this. Uh huh. It was like yeah, that's fifty dollars. So Damn. For the base, that's seventy. So I'm like, ooh. Oh. I'm like, oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll do that when yeah. I get to the crib. Because I used to get my hair cut. Yo, shout out Gia. I, I miss you, Gia. But you know, <laughs> I can't. I can't be going to your place no more. You're in Maryland. What? I'm in New York now, yeah, pretty much full far, time. Baby. So you know, oh. you did a good job. You did a great job for what five six years doing my hair, but I need a new. I, I need someone up here, so I went to this barber shop out in uh, some some town. I don't know, still not from. Don't know all the towns. Mm-hmm. I went in there four dollars for a damn haircut with the with the fucking the part in here. So I'm like, Mm-mm, nah, nah. So then I found this place and they're good. They're in Rockville Center. They're pretty good. I like it. They're holding it down for me. Yeah. How do you get the the non aging gene? That's another one. So he has the same gene as Pharrell and um, who was the other one? I said. Oh, fabulous! <laughs> fabulous! Yeah, fabulous does not look forty. He's about forty-two, forty-three. Man, he don't look like that at all. I say you smile a lot. Mm-hmm. You know Take care of yourself. You mm-hmm. drink a lot of water. Uh huh. And um, you just you know you you got you got to stay healthy, man. You mm-hmm. gotta eat. I eat mad fruits and veggies and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you like I go on my my runs where 
I'm not eating no bullshit. I ain't really? smoking no weed. I'm not doing nothing. I, go, I do that shit all the time. Man. Yes. I, med- I meditate you every definitely day. Definitely do. Meditate? I meditate every day. Interesting. Okay. You know? How long? At least at least 10 to 15 minutes. Bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, day, cool. So I listen to motivational speech, man. I just say happy, man, every Facts. day, bro. Right. No, I, I definitely think like, like a bad mood will make you look bro, a little more run down for sure. You got to make yourself happy. That's why I said you cannot give a fuck with people thinking how they feel about you. Because when you get that... That gene out of you, because that's a gene, that's a trait. Yeah. When you get that trait out of you, that I don't give a fuck trait. Yeah. It, it puts yeah. a, it puts a different, it yeah. puts a different feeling. You like you, you it have certain shit just don't even matter. You gotta right. understand that the world is going to turn. Right. No matter what. Right. If you're upset, if you're angry, <laughs> you're broke, no money. The world's still gonna turn. <laughs> what was the tattoo that just spoke to the mic there? What does that one say? So that's the astronaut. I got a couple. Mm-hmm. It's Carter across my chest. Me and okay. my brothers got Carter on my chest. Carter. Yeah. Then I got an astronaut right here. Mm-hmm. So I used to want to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Okay, that's fine. I and fuck with that. But I'm too See, that's tall. the first time I heard that. If you're, over, too if you're over six feet, you can't be. A, if you're over five eleven, can't be an astronaut. I can't be an astronaut Never either. Alex, though, no can. Alex. Wait, so no, wait, wait. What? How tall are you? You're like. Five, oh, yeah, you're on the border too. Bro. We're not gonna talk about it, but I always throw astronauts are fake. Wow. Yeah, I always thought no, they did that a, shit in a movie studio with all types of shit. And there's like, a, there's a possibility. Shit, bro. I think I, I, I they said show me I a spaceship. That made this is the one. This, <laughs> this is what I could believe. I could believe. I, I think they eventually landed on the moon, but I don't think they maybe did it the first time. I think that they may they have. Did they did it as a stunt to beat Russia, yeah. to beat Russia, and then then they went again, like maybe the second or the third time. Then they actually went there, but they had to like force it yeah, because to beat Russia, to beat Russia uh, That's space a race. Thing. It was a big time, yeah. Real that was a big deal. That. I could believe that. Yeah. I also believe aliens are real. Facts. Oh, for sure. There's no way in hell they're going to get some shit that looks like that. that. And then the shit really looks like that. It's oh, super real. But the astronaut, Ghost is real. The astronaut, <laughs> real shit. The astronaut chat is um a representation of me still chasing my dreams and reaching for my dreams. It's an astronaut reaching for stars. Stars, right. But um, since yeah. I'm not, I can't be an astronaut, I'm still mm-hmm. be going after what I go after. Right. And I got a Jeep Wrangler and me in, in the... Um, is uh, that Long like, Beach? That's a carnival and shit in the Jeep. Okay. But what I used to have my Wrangler man, my shit uh-huh. flipped over. Yeah. R.P. the Black Juice. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? But me and like some random bitch with hair uh-huh. and the Wrangler. Right. And that's it. Like that was like a good scene you want to put on yourself. Yeah. It's, Boom. The, back, it's the back of a um, oh, uh, album cover. Boom. You said you and a random bitch it's got a, a it's Wrangler. Literally, whoever fits the mold. It's okay. Not like mm-hmm. No exact bitch. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. 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 I took the dude who did that. He'll just put hair. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire, son. Definitely a bitch. Copy. Yeah. Copy. Nah, bro, I can't wait to get in a tattoo game, man. It's getting like peanut butter. I'm coming so for you, bro. So you naked out here? You a virgin? Of tattoos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you gotta get some tattoo pussy. Uh, bro. Uh, you gotta no, get bro. your you gotta get your cherry pop. Bro, I'm gonna get. That's what I'm saying. Skin like peanut butter. He's doing two for a hundred. He's doing it this month. He said, "Look, look, look. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean." People, right? I've had him on. Is he nice? He, bro. He is. He's not only a tattoo artist; he's a phenomenal painter as well. Yeah, yeah shout out my guy's work. He, he does great work. Two four hundred. I mean, I mean obviously, size? you're not going to get elaborate okay. stuff, but you can get you know two smaller tattoos that you wanted to add it, and that'd be a good right. deal for me because I want to get like just a couple little small things. Right, I don't know what specifically yet, but you said like you would have mad small little shit. I know you have. I want to do. A, I want to do a, a sleeve. A sleeve. What Actually, a, a forearm sleeve. You That's know, you got to shave all your hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. You a heavy motherfucker. You gotta have to shave that shit, son. That's okay. I'll do some wax. <laughs> I got my eyebrows waxed by um by my girl the Listen, other day. Don't get your cheeks crazy. No. <laughs> nah, son. I ain't doing that. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. 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 You good. You good. No. Anyways, yo, all right, yo, we're gonna have to wrap this one up here. But this was a great talk. This is easily one of the yeah, best man. podcasts. Hey, listen, man, if we ain't gonna do this shit right, uh-huh. if we ain't gonna do this shit right, don't we ain't gonna do, do it at all. all. Uh huh. No, no. This shit. it's your man. Shit. One take caught on here, man. Uh-huh. We chilling like yes. always, nigga. Chilling records. I fuck your baby mother records. Uh-huh. At the end uh-huh. of the day, do what the fuck you gotta do. Fuck uh-huh. everybody. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, um, Eat pizza, man. Eat and pizza. last but not least, man, I'm here VCS Bam. Here about to talk his shit. You already know it's VCS Bam on the mic, aka Ty, aka Bulletproof Bam, aka Yardy, aka Reginald Strong. We all here. Shout out my brother, One Take Carter. Shout out Manny for the interview, bro. Appreciate you. We in the building. Facts. Do me a favor, but don't do me no favors. Facts. Go follow Talk Yo <laughs> Shit Show. That's Talk Yo Why Yo Shit Show. On Instagram, go subscribe on YouTube. Go check out season one and season two is out now. Uh, give us a little second. We got episodes for season two, but we running through a little dilemma. And uh, appreciate y'all. 
Appreciate you, bro, and real shit. Follow your fucking dreams, people. Don't let nobody tell you you can't be what you want to be. Nah, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We out, my nigga. We out. Yeah, we out. We out. Say that. Say that. We been telling niggas we need to start a podcast. Uh huh. We out of here. We out of here. Yeah, say that. We need a podcast. Word. We taking these mics. They taking those mics. They taking them. They're going away. They're fire. Nigga said. Nigga said real shit. Nigga said we out of here. We taking the wires. Hold up. Which one wire? Put it on there. Yeah, real shit. We about to go be astronauts because they told us we can't. Be yeah. astronauts at six feet tall, but we about to be fucking astronauts. They about, about to do to, it. We about to start it. You heard? Chase your dreams, people. Gang, we here. We took over. <laughs> took over. Let's go. Yo, there we go. We're putting this shit over. We're putting this shit over. What he's doing? Follow me on Instagram, S K B E N I T G. All that good shit. Oh, you can keep. You can actually keep keep going with that if you want, because I'm just gonna put this shit over. Yeah, S K B E N I T G. Follow me on Instagram, Supply to Spinner Media. Thank you to One Take Carter for being here. Subscribe, subscribe to my man Benny. Benny 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 shit show. But you heard. Shout out to Alex PTS wife for being behind the camera. Uh-huh. Yo, big shit coming up. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. I love you guys. Quick shit. Bye bye. Man used to get a hell of fraud. I'm like the revolution. It was televised. Hold up on the gram back then. It was Vine. Wish I would have kept it in my pants. I ain't lying. If she ever got another nigga, man, that's fine. Cause I can't. Hey. I can't hate, can't hate, I can't hate, no can't hate